Well, I mixed it like consistency. Consistent. I can't talk with no teeth. Consistency. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. Like pancake mix. You know how you make it just basically runny. You know. And then I poured it in. The mold's probably a bit overkill. That's probably all wrong. Probably have to do another layer. Because it does look pretty thin. Eh, I probably did. You know, they don't give you the best directions. You know, just show you a couple pictures. You have to go online. You got some old woman doing it. She made it so thick it looked like mortar mix. I don't know. As you can tell, I'm not very good at making pancakes. My pancakes look about the same consistent, consistent, durable stuff. Oh, it's going to take forever for this shit to dry. Oh, well. Why don't they make it look easy in the movies, you know? Well, I don't care. I'll just mix up another batch and pour it on top of it, you know? Once, of course, I'll roll it around. Uh -oh. That's a thought. Uh, seems to be stiffing up. This is probably the wrong way of doing it, or might be discovering a new way of doing it. Who the hell knows? Well, here, let's keep scooping it up there. Seems to be getting thicker. Maybe. I mean, what else would I be doing on a Friday night? I got work tomorrow anyways. Friday night and I'm making nut cookies. Making a new smile for old Kenny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure I'm not a lab tech. I used to build boats. What the hell's the difference? Teeth and boats. Yeah. I'm just trying to build the mold. Make sure you get enough drywall plaster. Yeah. That's why I bought two kits. I screw it up. No big deal. I, I screw it up. It's just, it's a learning experience. Who knows? Might be an art form. I think I added just a tad more. Tad too much water. And it was too thin, so I thought I'd add more mix. And before you know it, I got more than enough. And this is a little bit runny. But it, it's getting thicker. Kind of fun anyways, I don't care. It's like fun. Arts and crafts. Yeah. But I figured the runnier it be, the better it would conform to my um, upper jaw imprint. Because if it's too thick, you have to pack it in. It would damage the imprint. Or at least, at least that's my theory, and I'm going to stick with it. Because that makes more sense. It's more creamy. And to find all the nooks and crannies much better. Than if it were thick and you had to paste it on. And this just makes better sense. I'm sure I'm going to have to take a hammer and chisel to get it out of there. But, eh, no biggie. It's alright. I wonder how many hours i got to wait for this stuff to care. You know, it didn't say that. Very loose... Loose instructional guide. Like I say, they have the old woman making her own dentures. It looked a little cockeyed, but and then I went online and seen how the real ones are made. Yeah, not that much different, really. Other than they have the fancy bracket that lines up the lowers and the uppers. I think you can purchase those on eBay. You really want to get into this stuff. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to let that sit. Yep. I think it's built up nice. Scrape what we can here. 
Yeah, I don't quite have enough. They did give me extra bag. Probably because they figured well, this guy bought two kits. He's going to need a little extra help. Oops, sorry. I'm not a very good camera operator and denture maker. But I haven't made a YouTube show in a long time. And so, hey. Mmm. Don't eat this stuff at home, kids. This is not soup. This is plaster of Paris. I know it looks like melted ice cream, but don't get no ideas, okay? Well, I don't know. I had better instructions. Nah, I'm okay. Oop, let's put this up. Oh, it's heavy. All right. I put that up on that little... I think the little, uh, this is a microwave dinner. I'm not sure what it was, hot apple pie or something. Same with this. You know, the disposable, so you don't ruin anything. Besides, it's just plaster of Paris. And, and probably don't want to use your mom's good china. Anyways, a review of the kit. Oh, yeah, they give you pearly whites. And they're already kind of preset with a little wire in it. We'll get to that eventually. But that may be for tomorrow. And, of course, they give you the plaster Paris. And they give you the two-part um, material that you place into your forms that this is for a lower lower denture lower because it got clear clearance for your tongue you mix these two parts together and it almost makes a lime green yellow you can tell when it's mixed properly then you fill in this here area fill it up nice and thick and then you turn around, take this, and we'll spin the camera around. I doubt I'll have you in focus. You spin this, and then you shove it in your mouth, which will be lower. And then you hold down, make sure it's in there good, straight. You hold it in there for four minutes. And then it should have a, a nice impression of your lower jaw or your upper jaw. And it looks like it's starting to bubble, like it's starting to harden. Uh, I don't think I did this right. It may be a month of Sundays before, you know, Rome will probably be rediscovered and rebuilt by the time this dries up. But it's okay. It'll evaporate. Water find its way out. What the heck? Anyways. That's what I got so far. Let's go wash this up. Oh, I forgot. This here, I guess once you get down the road, anyways, you get the veneers, the teeth. <coughs> what did I do with them? Oh, they're in the box. You get this stuff here. And you take two of them or however many you need. And you put it in a pot of hot boiling water. And this is like hard, durable plastic. That's the gum part. And I guess I'll show you when I get to that one. I'm not real sure about these. They don't give you no instructions. So I went online. The little beads melt in hot water as well. And they turn into a clear transparent. And I guess you can make a tooth fashion, a tooth or teeth or a tooth or a teeth out of it? <laughs> a tooth, a teeth, a tooth and teeth. Anyways, uh, you can fashion a tooth out of it. And, it, and when they harden, they turn white again. I, I don't know what to call it. Thermal beads or something. I'm not sure what the shot glass is for. Might be for that. You know, for, di for description and their instructions. 
very weak, but they do give you some poly grip and a new denture brush to take care of it. So that's all right. You know, for 75 bucks, that's something to do. And stay tuned. All right, peace out. All right.